Hi, and welcome to our third program from the Thermodynamics Unit. This one deals with the concept of entropy. Entropy is a measure of the distribution of energy in a system. The more widespread that energy is, the greater its entropy. We measure entropy in the unit of joules per Kelvin. So let's put that in over here. So entropy is joules per Kelvin. And let's take a look at a system to show how entropy can change. Consider, if you would, some iodine crystals placed in a container. So down in this corner, I have iodine crystals. You might recall them as sort of a purple-grayish uh, material. And those particles possess some quantity of energy. Through the course of time, that iodine solid will essentially sublimate and the molecules that make it up will spread out throughout the container. So as a result, some of these have moved. And I now have formed I2 in the gaseous state. I can see here that this situation, the gas, I have more widespread entropy. So the change in entropy in this system has gone up, or positive change in entropy. IB expects us to be able to look qualitatively at a reaction and have some idea of how entropy is changing, as well as quantitatively to actually calculate what the entropy value is. So let's first of all look at predicting it. What I'm looking for in predicting is what is the war more widespread state of energy. So if I am considering bromine liquid to bromine gas, this has a more widespread distribution of energy. So I would say here that the entropy in this system is increasing or there's been a positive change in entropy. Now in this situation I have all gases. However though, I'm going from four gas to two gas. Four gases would have a wider distribution of entropy. So I'm going to say here that the entropy is decreasing in this reaction, or a negative change in entropy. In this I have two gases on this side and two on this side, so there's been no change in the number nor the state. I would suggest here that the entropy change in this situation is approximately zero. Here with a solid and an aqueous states present, and then a gas and an aqueous, I can essentially focus on the solid and the gas here, that this situation has greater distribution. So I would say here that my entropy is going up, or a positive delta S. And in my last example, I have no gas state, simply aqueous states. And again, there's one aqueous on both sides, so essentially I'm going to focus on an aqueous versus a solid. In an aqueous, the ions would be spread out, and in solid they would be in a smaller position. So I would view this as having greater entropy. So I would say that the entropy in this situation is decreasing or negative delta S. So that's a look at qualitatively identifying how entropy changes. Now let's look at calculating it. You can notice here the formula for calculating entropy change is very similar to what we've seen from heats of formation. We sum up all of the products and we subtract all of the reactants. Much of this data is available in our IB data booklet, and we can see it over here in the far right-hand column. The units of it, joules per Kelvin per mole, suggest that we need to multiply these quantities by the coefficients that are here. Now, in this case, all of the coefficients happen to be 1. Let's write down the values underneath each substance uh, just to organize ourselves. So I consult the table, first of all, for C2H4, ethene. So this is 220. Now hydrogen, I had to look that one up, is 131. And ethane is uh, 230. So let's put them in up here. I'm going to use square brackets to put all the information dealing with my products 
and then I'm going to use another square bracket to put all of the information with regarding to my reactants just to help organize the information. So I've got one product at 230 and just to show you how the units work out, joules per Kelvin per mole, um, this is one mole. So as a result, we'll see the moles will calculate, um, cancel out of our expression. And on our reactant side, we've got one times our ethene and one times our hydrogen. And putting that through the calculator, I get negative 121 joules per Kelvin with the moles cancelling out. This is not surprising if you look at the fact here we're going from two gas to one. We would expect a decrease in the entropy of our system. So that's a look at both calculating and predicting the sign of entropy change. We'll use this idea in our next program to look at spontaneous reactions. Thanks for watching.